do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You're our favorite indeed. Being a pirate is our right to be. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You are a pirate. Captain Cory here and the crap goth. Hello. So, um, today is a little bit different for us, isn't it, video-wise? Yeah. So, we need to have some news for you all. Yeah. And that is, we are sadly informing you that we are... Going to Whitby! We're going to Whitby! We are actually going to Whitby! So, those people who saw the video previously to this one would know that it was Corey's, one of Corey's final wishes, big wishes, is to go to Whitby. Yeah. How much do you love Whitby? More than I can say. Like, I'd probably buy it if I could. So, um, people say, oh, Pixie talks a lot, doesn't she? But yeah, Corey, do you want me to tell people about Whitby? Yeah. Oh, right. So basically, <coughs> Whitby, oh, you might hear some noises. It's from Corey's, Corey's, Corey's tracheostomy, making a little bit of noise there. So he's trying to have his word. So we have been going to Whitby since Corey was a little incy wincy baby. Uh, we go to the Goth Festival, or we did go to the Goth Festival. So the Whitby Goth Festival is on twice a year in April and October. If you want to know more about that, please jump over to the Crap Goth channel because straight after filming this, I'll be jumping over onto my channel and we'll be letting you know all about Whitby Goth Festival, the fringe events, what it's about, um, the things to do there, how amazing it is, why you should come, booking ahead, accommodation, and all the kind of things which are quite essential to know if you want to get your bum there and stay there because. Some people do book years in advance to go because it's really, really big. But this one is Corey's biggest wish is to go back to Whitby. Now, it's something we haven't done in a very long time because of transplants, because of COVID and and, and everything else, isn't it? So yeah. um, Corey said in his last video that the biggest wish that he had um, was, well, there's two wishes. We're not going to go to the second one. First one was to go to Whitby on holiday. So I actually think I said on the video, didn't I, that I was going to contact the lady who, whose apartment we always stay in. So this apartment, what is it like? It's amazing. It's a really lovely apartment. It is. And we've stayed at the same place every single year. We had a rolling booking, didn't we? So that meant we just went to the same place every single year. You've got your own bed. You know, it's way over around the apartment. It's all on ground level, which is fantastic. Um, so it is brilliant. And we're going again. So this was completely random, wasn't it? Yeah. So I messaged the lady um, and said, look, do you have any availability <coughs> for kind of May onwards? Because Corey and I are actually going to the... Uh, the hospice at the beginning of April for a week, which we've never stayed that long for. So we thought we'd get back, have a bit of time, save up some spending money, because obviously we don't have a lot of money, do we? Um, and um, and so I thought, you know, May onwards would give us enough time to recover, save up some money, and potentially go. Now it's a long, long journey for Corey. It's Lovely one that, you know, yeah, we are going to have to take a stop. Um, so, but fingers crossed, it should be smooth sailing. So I contacted the lady on the off chance she had any vacancies and she didn't have any when we wanted to go. Um, so then she then got back to me and said, I do have these two dates. And one was a four day stay, which I said, we really don't want a four day stay. We want a seven day stay. Because if we're going to do it, we may as well do it properly. Yeah. So four days really, by the time you get there, you can't get until about one in the afternoon. So you've already missed half a day. Um, so we've gone for the full seven days. Um... Now, that is quite good because um, we're like, oh, can we do it? Can we afford to do it? And we kind of pushed and had a bit of a shuffle around and had a chat with people about finances and stuff. And we've managed to fund the holiday itself for the accommodation. Um, so I booked the holiday and then went and told Corey. And then we received an email from the same lady whose apartment saying, do you realise that it is on Goth Weekend? I was like, what? What? Um, because we haven't been for several years, I didn't even think to check when the dates were for the goth weekend because they, they're not always on the same dates. Um, I'm pretty sure they fluctuate. Um, and I hadn't checked. And so we are actually going to be in Whitby during the goth weekend for a week. Not weekend, but for a full week. And we are taking you guys with us. We are going to be doing little walk around, around, around the small alleys because Whitby is a little bit like York. If you've ever heard of York before, if you're not from the UK, go and check that out. Whitby is very old buildings, little cobbled streets. Luckily, they do have pavements because Corey's in a wheelchair. Um, oh my gosh. What are some of your favourite shops there? Um, 
The one that has the chocolate coffins. That'd be Justin's. Justin's. Um, what's the toy shop called? I used to oh to. my gosh, I actually don't remember. I'm not sure on the, the, the name of the toy shop. I don't know. Um, it's near the big. There's a back of big polar bear kind of thing, isn't there? On top of a, um, like <clears throat> a medicine place. It's been ages since we've been. I can't remember the name of the place, but there is a toy shop there. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah that. that and the um little shell kind of shop. Yeah, there's like a little like a little souvenir shop, isn't yeah. there? Um, near, and that's near the Siemens, <coughs> near the Siemens Mission. Um. So um, I mean. This is like, I mean, how excited were you when I came upstairs and said, guess what? Like, I could have burst if I could. I think you very, I think you actually cried, didn't you? Yeah. Because I think this is a huge deal. So um, for anybody who, like, you know, they go abroad and they do all this, imagine your most favourite place in the whole world where you absolutely love going. This is Whitby for Corey. <coughs> you alright, dude? <coughs> Take that off you now? Yep. Yeah, so... We are going to take you on holiday with us, which is going to be amazing. So we're going to going to be filming over both YouTube channels. So Corey's Crack in the Box, mine, The Crap Goth. So we've already said that we're going to do um, like little location shots, haven't we? So we can do the tourist things, the fish and chip shops and do the, you know, the Abbey and things like that, that you can go on YouTube and see on everyone else's channel which we probably will do that, but we're going to do it a bit different. Yeah. So we're going to be going, driving up the car, aren't we, to the Abbey at sunset, um, after the Goth Festival's over, because it's a bit quieter then, and we're going to be filming the graves in the vast graveyards that's outside St Mary's Church. We'll be very respectful, obviously, but we'll be able to see the bats flitting around, we'll be able to see the silhouette of Whitby, um, we'll be able to see the whale bones, which are famous, and we're going to do lots of videos like that, aren't we? <coughs> yeah. We'll take your fossil hunting with us, and we're going to go on the beaches, obviously. Um, <coughs> you alright? <coughs> Are you okay? I'm good. Are you sure? <coughs> do you need a bottle of rum? That's underage drinking. Yeah, but you're at home, it's fine, you're under supervision. Okay. I'm, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to take you along on holiday with us. Um, so we will show you Captain Quarry um, doing the things he loves doing in Whitby. And for all you people who have never been to Whitby before, you're abroad or whatever, you get to see how beautiful it is, what we love about the place. Um, Corey, what are your top things that you absolutely cannot wait to do once you get to Whitby? Go, uh, go on the beaches and explore. Go on the 2P machines. <coughs> Eat at all the wonderful restaurants. What's the favourite? Pl what's the place you like going for dinner the most? The Dolphin. Oh, we love the Dolphin, don't we? Dolphin. The Dolphin is a lovely big pub that is actually right on the edge of the um, the bridge. What do you call the bridge that goes up? Do, 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 do. It's got a bridge that does this. Can't remember because my brain's just farted completely. But yeah, it's um, an opening bridge which allows the big ships to pass through. And the Dolphin pub is just situated right on that bridge, isn't it? There at the edge of the bridge. And we go there for dinner, like, all the time. It's so nice, isn't it? Yeah. What else do you want to do? Um, find seaweed. I, what? Find seaweed for? Last time we went and I found a long stick of seaweed, Gypsy just chased me oh, everywhere. Oh, so we taking Gypsy. <coughs> so, have you guys met Gypsy yet? I don't think they've met Gypsy, you know. I don't think we've ever brought Gypsy on a video. Have, have you put one on your channel? No. Go get so, Gypsy, do you want to, so Gypsy is my therapy dog. So Gypsy is a little sprudel. So she's a spring, <coughs> Springer Spaniel Poodle. <coughs> she's the runt of the litter. So she's teeny tiny. <coughs> she's due a haircut. So she's a little bit fluffy at the moment. So she will be clipped before we go. Um, but she's my therapy dog. And she lived with us full time in hospital when Corinne was in for transplant. She lived, she had her own bed on the intensive care unit and everything. So she's coming on holiday with us. And she bloody loves the beach. She just runs around and she's like a headless chicken. She's brilliant. She dives over rocks and everything. She's brilliant. So And she chases seaweed. She chases seaweed. Yeah, she does. She won't chase a ball, will she? No, she'll just chase seaweed. She's such a random dog. I'm going to pause a second. He's whistling. I can hear him whistling from his, his tracheostomy hole. And I'm going to go and get, get the dog. She's a bit of a loon. <coughs> um, she acts like she's a puppy. <coughs> I'll go get Gypsy. Two seconds. So, down here, we have a rather stinky, because she rolls in everything, um, dog which needs a bit of a clip. So, this is Gypsy. And she is our little sprudel. Um, she's really friendly. She's really loving. Um, she's a little bit of a stink bag at the moment, aren't you? Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? Please say hello. Come on, up, up, up. Come on. Who's this? So Gypsy's going to be coming on holiday with us. And she absolutely loves the beach. She's brilliant. So Gypsy's my dog. Um, 
she's a trained therapy dog uh, for mental health um which is brilliant but she's really good with Corey she looked after Corey in hospital didn't she yeah. which is wicked so this little thing here is going to be darting around everywhere uh, chasing seaweed chasing seagulls um loving water absolutely loves water doesn't she so um luckily because she's a working dog she has a therapy dog collar and everything so she comes in all the shops with her <coughs> the letter everywhere don't you yes you do please don't lick me because i don't know where your tongue's been but yes anyway corey so we're going to go to the dolphin for dinner, we're going to go to the beaches, 2p machines, anyone who doesn't know what a 2p machine is, it's an arcade, um, you put your little two pences in, or I presume in America, wherever you'd put your cents in, and you can win little prizes off it, he loves them, thinks they're brilliant, also probably your zombie shooting games, cause you, and your driving games, you're quite good at them, aren't you? So what else do you want to do when you're in Whitby? Um, the coolest things that you love doing? Do you want to go on the ship? Yeah. So what is the ship called, do you remember? The Captain Cook Experience. Oh, that's <coughs> awesome, isn't it? And we've been on that a lot of times, haven't we? Yeah. So, and they actually put you on, so you go out to sea for about half an hour, about 20 minutes to half an hour. Yeah. And that is so cool, isn't it? Yeah. So, Corey, mate, what do you want to say about your fact you're actually going back to Whitby in just a few weeks' time? It's bloody amazing. It is, and we have to say as well, don't we? that we're actually getting help from you guys already. Yeah. So this video went out last night, didn't it? Not this one, but the one before this went out um, last night with Corey um, getting a little bit emotional and saying what he wanted to do, um, that he really wanted to go back to Whitby. Um, and we have already been notified by Coro, um, who looks after Corey's PayPal account, um, that people are donating for the holiday, for us to go on holiday. And honestly, you know, that is immense for us, isn't it? Yeah. so thank you so much it is beyond generous it's not something we've asked for you've just like voluntarily done it and it's just so incredible and means that we don't have to worry about money and taking him out for meals and treating him to gothic ice creams and everything else that you said you wanted to do so thank you so much and thank also you. i can see Corey's amazon wish list Corey can't see it he doesn't know what's been purchased and I can see that quite a few things have been bought off Corey's wish list um, for a holiday, potential holiday, which we now know is happening. But I'm not going to tell you what they are until you open it on an unboxing video, which okay. will happen. But thank you so much for that as well. Honestly, <coughs> absolute star. Thank you. Corey, when we first get into Whitby, what's the first thing you want to do? So we've got to the apartment. We've unpacked the bags. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Just have a look around. Yeah. Because there is an event happening, isn't there? Do you remember what it's called? Where we're going to go up and we're going to go to and visit all the stalls. I've just forgot. The Bazaar Bazaar. That's it. So, um, again, like I said, if you want to find out more about Whitby Goth, you can jump onto my channel, The Crap Goth. But the Bazaar Bazaar is spread over several different venues in Whitby. Lots of different market stalls kind of thing. Um, handmade things. Beautiful gothic items that you just wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. So, yeah, it's really cool to go to, isn't it? Plus, we get to see loads of our friends who go there as well. So, it's going to be brilliant isn't it yeah so oh my god like we have so much coming up so we have um we have a collaboration coming up don't we this week um this coming week um we're not going to tell you with who with but we have a, a collab coming up that is going to be advertised um we also have the stay <coughs> at the hospice for seven days and then we're going to um have a bit of a chill out and then we're going to go on holiday holiday and honestly i can't believe it Corey, how excited are you? I'm very excited! Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's mad, in it? It's absolutely brilliant. Oh my gosh. So, I'm going to leave you now with Captain Corey to tell you why he loves Whitby, why it means so much, and just to say a few words to all of you. So, um, I'm out. <coughs> now, I love Whitby so much because of everything you can do there. I mean, it's our... This would probably be an hour long video if I were to say everything you could do there. At least everything I know you can do there. But the reasons I love it is there's sometimes there's donkey rides on the beach. There's multiple different beaches. Each one's with their own special things like one's filled with rocks, one's filled with fossils, one's filled with sea glass. What my mum likes collecting. And also the 2P machines are amazing and they constantly change. I mean, every time I go, there's new there's new or different 2P machines. What I just love. And the restaurants there, like 
like the dolphin, they are amazing. They offer amazing food, and I love the drinks too. And and, it's, and the best, I think the best thing at the dolphin was, I think I, I was having a burger at night for tea with my mum and John, and I think a star. And the bridge started opening, and there's all like dotted lights on the bridge, so it looks so pretty. Uh, and you've got like all the cobblestone paths, what well, looks so amazing too. I mean, uh, me and Mum watched a, a video of um, Whitby, and I went, Mum, doesn't Whitby look like hoaxed me to be? Because it, because to me, it, on the other side of the bridge, it, to me, it looks like Whitby. To me, it looks like Hogsmeade, but near the ocean. And it's such a lovely place. I mean, and everything, there's so many different things. And the, <coughs> and there's, like, little shops you can go to. Like, you want to, like, there's bucket and spade shops. There's, and, and there's a little coffee shop by the beach we'd like to go to. And every time, me and mum would go up grab ourselves like I'd get like a little hot chocolate and so would mum and we'd get like these little nice chocolate coins what come with them too and sometimes I would have like a little tin of Pringles because there was a Pringles machine like circle thing what was right next to it and mum was really smart because she decided when we drank when we drank our chocolates to let to let the um cup dry out and then you sh and then use the cups as storage containers when we're at the beach for like sea glass and like interesting fossils or like any nice stones we find and I really really enjoyed it I, and what I've and I found this at Whitby I don't know if you can see it too well but it's a fossil <coughs> and this is literally a fossil what was found by me it was by you yeah yeah by me at at one of the beaches and it's so pretty i mean look i think it's called an ammonite is it yeah and you can see all the details too know. so we had to crack this one open didn't we with like a little tool when we got back because yeah. we could tell it was a fossil because it was a round rock originally wasn't it but there was like little 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 kind of grooves in the rock that's how and they were regular, tell. and that's how you can tell. We, we could see like, this kind of like light, light little groove, so we knew there was something inside. So I think on your wish list, you actually put a fossil hammer, haven't you? So we can yeah. actually do it at Whitby. Okay, you're doing a wicked job, matey. And one of me and my mum's favourite shops is Gutsy Gingers. It's a hippie shop, and and you can, and you can buy things from there like crystals and tie dye things. And um, incense, and it, and it's a really nice place, and it's all my mum's favourite things. So, I mean, she really loves it. I like it too, but not as much as her. We both, and phew, there's so, there's so many different shops. I mean, there's there's sweet shops too. I mean, almost every corner you turn. Hey, you want to go to a restaurant? Want to go to a sweet shop? Because there's that many, and it's just so how amazing Whitby is and and it's really nice because because another one of my food another one of mine and my mum's favorite shops is the one where we get the chocolate coffins from just in chocolatiers just in chocolatiers and that's really really nice because because like i said before it's all like a, a strawberry or like raspberry cream filling and it's so nice <coughs> And you've got so many different things. I mean, in Whitby, there's pretty much a shop for everything. Literally everything. You want to dress up as a goth? There's an entire building dedicated to dressing up as goths where you can buy things like that. But we actually dressed up, didn't we? What did we dress up as? Um, steampunk? No, not post-apocalyptic. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so we both dressed up, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, and that was really cool. I'll actually try, because I'm sorry, I'm just here sitting on the sidelines listening to him. I'll send a photo to Coro and see if she can upload it so you can see a photo of me and Corey dressed up in post-apocalyptic gear. Is that all right? Yeah. Because um, I think you're getting dressed up this time, aren't you? In your captain's gear. But uh, And we might have a few surprises up our sleeves as well that Captain Corey doesn't even know about. So you'll be seeing it 
yeah so we're trying to arrange a few bits and bobs a bit surprises for his youtube channel that he doesn't know about and you guys are going to be with us when we do it so uh yeah so last final words really are um because we know now there are people helping to actually fund this holiday <coughs> um now um we've not we've not asked for anything we've not asked for anything at all it was something that i was going to do off my own back and um people are helping and oh my gosh i mean like this literally makes the world a difference because it obviously does. fuel money is very expensive and we're talking it, it's, it's hours away from us like three or four it'd be about oh it'd be over over 100 pounds worth of fuel to get there and back <laughs> um and then there's obviously spending money and we always budget so um, i save up all year when we go normally i save up um in this big jar i save up all my coppers and all of my my um my pound coins and i save up for the entire year take it all to a little like like a banking machine in sainsbury's empty it all in there and whatever money we've got in there is our spending money for the week and sometimes it can be 30 pounds for the day sometimes if we're lucky i've saved up really hard and we have about 70 pounds for the day but we're budgeted massively and because of you amazingly generous incredible people we have had donations coming in to Corey's PayPal stating it's for our holiday. And we can now safely say every day we are there, we can take Corey and his sisters because his big sister, his little sister, um, the dog. Of, we're all going as a family. We can all go out for meals every day to a restaurant. Every day. Every day. We can afford ice creams every day. Every we can afford the donkeys, which are very well cared for, by the way. They're not neglected donkeys. They're fantastically well cared for donkeys. We can go to the Abbey and afford to get in and show you around. We can do everything. So, Corey, words to everybody. Thank you so much. You, you Originally, this was just going to be my mum, but because of all you, it's just banged. It's, because of all you, it's just popped out and this is gonna be amazing you you don't know what you guys you don't know how big of an impact you guys have made thank you so much for all of this